Hi, welcome to Barbados. This is Silver Sands Hotel, which has been closed for about how long has it been closed for, Tony? 14 years now. 14 years. These are the boots. This is the entrance, which would have been pretty grandioso. And we'll walk down here. There we go, we can see the dilapidated state now. Quite secure, obviously, but no longer. We've been coming here many years, and we've been watching the hotel decline. So sad. It's currently up for sale for $12.5 million. Um, I'll let you decide at the end of the video if you think it's actually worth that. As you can see, very overgrown. It's not been kept. It was secured for a number of years. I think they had a little bit of security, but I think the only security they've got now is plenty of chickens and plenty of monkeys that have moved in. So there we go. It's fair to say the monkeys are massive. And they are huge. And if at some point I start to run, it's because there's a monkey around. Okay, so this is a nice little roundabout. As you can see on the right hand side, parking and the remnants of the hotel. On the left hand side, quite a grand area. And this is the entrance. Um, You'll be able to see photographs of the original entrance when it's in its heyday. Well, here we go. Sadly, it's been used as a fly tipping area. And as you can see, nature's done a really good job grabbing back what it used to own. dropped off here. Yeah. Here you are. You've reached your destination, madam. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh no, we'll be dropped off here actually, didn't we? Here's the reception. Oh, there's somebody working there, they're discreet now. Here we are. Oh, that's a nice sign. Good to buy, quite a marvellous sign. Hello, Mark. Do you have a reservation? Yes, I do, sir. Thank you very much. Can I interest you in the postcards at the Silver Sands Hotel? Oh, yes, please do bring them with you. That'd be very useful. Um, this is a reception. And a business card, even. Business card. Um, four. I'm guessing these were offices. I'm not sure if this is a bedroom, I'm not sure. Uh, oops. Guessing toilets, maybe. I don't really want to venture in there. There was. That's how you know what the bedroom is. Oh, yeah. Oh, my days. The bat's hanging down. That, is, oh, that was a bat that was flying around. That's amazing. Look at this. You see all the bats? Bats. This is obviously bat poo. Very useful for the garden, especially for put mansions. Oh my days, look at the bats. The flowers. Wow. Oh, they're everywhere. The more you look, the more you 
Amazing. Pardon? Oh, the office is looking quite interesting. Yeah, there goes back. I don't think it's very happy way, yeah. Really very good out. Big bats. Wow. Uh, this is the office. I'm not sure I want to go in here. Even got a typewriter, I don't know. Here's all the bookings, postcards, bookings here. Lots and lots of bookings. Keys. Wow. Well. Okay, so this is to the left of the reception. Looking at the style here, I'm guessing this could well be sort of like the more expensive section of the hotel. As you can see, I think everything in the room has just been thrown off the balconies. It's been used for fly tipping again. Um, I think this hotel had about 130 bedrooms. 120 staff who were all just made redundant and some of them have been worked there had worked here for um 30 years terribly sad um as i said earlier on they had already received a it was the let's have a look the tourist relief fund because there was a downturn in the economy in 2009 and they got two series of funding from the Tourist Relief. One was about $500,000 and the second, and I'm rounding this up, was about $300,000, which didn't seem to go anywhere towards reviving the hotel, other than the owners bought themselves a beautiful yacht. So it's still questionable as to where the funding went and all those people lost the jobs. So this is quite high end. I'm just going to go around. We'll go around the side. No, I think we're going to the dining and pool area. Yeah. yeah. There is, so worth mentioning, some absolutely amazing palm trees. I don't really want to go into this building. I'm going to have a go getting as near to the rooms that you can see. Um, everything in every single one of the hotel rooms has been stripped of anything electrical, any aircon units has gone, um, just anything of any value or considered to have any value has just been stripped. Um, the doors have gone. I'm guessing they were probably on someone else's resort now. Um, just everything stripped. the kitchen area. This safe has been stripped and there's a handy toilet. Just anything, anything off the walls, electrical, gone. As I say, we've been coming here for quite a number of years now and it's just got worse and worse. I cannot see how this is going to realise 12 and a half million 
dollars. I would imagine it costs that to destroy, to flatten everything. So down here, look, look at the gorgeous views. I mean, this would be a beautiful area for swimming, bathing. Amazing. Nature grabbing so beautiful. Yeah, so this used to be a club Mistral hire centre. Um, when we first started coming here, this was a complete building, but now it's been totally flattened. Um, club Mistral is quite a big chain of hire centres. I'm not sure how it operates. Maybe it's a franchise. But yeah, there's uh, the remains of a 6.6 metre north sail there. Yeah, uh, Silver Sands um, on Barbados gets the, uh, the full force of the trade winds from the east and I can honestly say all the times we've been here I don't think um, the wind ever fully switches off it does have light wind days but not many plus you've got the reef um, a couple hundred metres out as well so it is an ideal spot for windsurfing, surfing uh, and more recently um, wing foiling as well and kite surfing um, because of the cross shore winds so moving away from the uh, premier possibly the, uh, the more exclusive section exclusive to uh, another section. Th this hotel seems to be split into different blocks. I don't know if some of them are like self-contained villas with their own kitchens or, or what we call them. Maybe that was off the roof area from the front. Who knows? So if you look at some of the photographs with the hotel in its heyday, and you go there. Um, oh, another monkey. As you can see. Oh, I'm missing the pool. That's a cool idea. Photographs on the postcard and the photographs on some of the previous websites when the hotel was open show this is a really nice area. This is the pool area. You won't want to go for a swim in that. Yeah. I reckon that was a, a bar over there. I think this is a bar as well here. Yeah. Isn't it?
very oft repeats it. When we first came here, there was uh, a couple of like jacuzzi spa pools in this area, but they've been uh, removed. Like a food barbecue area over there. It is great down this end of the island, though. A lot of people want to visit the, visit. Um, Sort of Silver Sands area. You don't go back to places like St. Lawrence Gap. So, where we're heading now is a um, dining area, big dining area with two kitchen areas in it. Pool terrace. Is someone shut the door in? That'll be the monkeys. Tennis courts. So while we've been here, um, a local guy's been walking around, he's been here 30 years and he ran the Club Mistral Hire Centre, helped build it as well apparently. And he said the hotel got took over at one point and the new owners didn't want anything to do with the surf, kite surf, wind surf thing that was going on. They just wanted it to be purely for hotel guests only, the beach area, which is uh, probably not the best thing to do in an area where the main draw. Another block of the hotel. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but the, the main draw for this area, apart from it being stunning, of course, is uh, is the trade winds and the great wind surfing, and kite surfing. Surf's not so good here, you've got to go a few other places, but you can catch a few waves. So we're getting back to the hotel. These are strange little blocks. It's spread over quite a large space. Um, these are particularly strange. Um, well, there you go. <laughs> It's sort of like, I don't know, there's so many, I think it's six. And a little self-contained apartment. Yeah, so, yeah, that's a good word, isn't it? Yeah, self-contained apartments. But as you can see, everything's picked out, pulled out, thrown out. Uh, I'm just mindful of the door banging before I'm convinced it's the monkeys. Because the monkeys are in here. <laughs> Thing 
gorgeous views. Two stories, two, three, six per block. windy it is as well. And that's why people come down here. There you go. Cheerio. 